relax breathing. So for the following position, the crane movement has quite a long history. One important part besides uh, spreading wings, of course, is that you use um, the movement in your hip. Yeah? So this part, when you open the hip, is an integral part of the crane movement. Yes? So try not to make this one easy on you. You want the, the legs stay the same high, yes? and then open the hip and you go other side. Yeah? So you make sure that you use the hip movement when you do the next exercise, yes? Try to improve your hip movement here, yes? This is actually really important, yes? So for now we try focus here, yes? I want to see everybody doing straight, straight movement to the other side. You can choose how high, yeah? If you have hard time, you try lower. If you can go easy, you try higher. Yeah? But try the leg to stay same high. Yeah? Okay, goodbye. So, So, yeah, I can hear some hips already open. Yes, very good. And hold it. So, and also here open again and step down. As this type of movement. Yeah. Good boy. So. So. So, and relax. This movement very old, you know. On some uh, scrolls, history and things, you always find this movement, yes? It's also one of the exercises that consists in almost all Wodang groups, I think, uh, Schwamopai and Longman Pi have it too. So, elbow, don't go up, relax elbow. So, and step left, knee up. I want to see straight. So, open hip, don't fall. Yes. Keep it up, very nice. Hand wrist, soft, relax. Yes, and you want, you want the knee close, yes, like this. And now you push up. Here, yeah. Here you, here you try push up as much as you can. Yes, really good. Hmm, it's good. Keep holding. So, 
Slowly bring the knee first forward to chest, and open and step close. Yes. Mm. It's like opening movement and closing movement. Yeah? First you bring the knee to the chest, you make it straight, huh? you bring it up, huh? and you bring the knee to the chest again, you step down and relax. This is the one of oldest crane positions, yes. So So So, knee to chest and go down. Relax breathing. Wanna see one time? Hippie. So. Shoulder relax, yes, hand up. Bring the knee to chest first when you go up with the leg, yes? So. Yes. Okay, so relax. Knee to chest. Uh, almost nobody. Here, here I think is not highest point for you. Yeah? You try to bring this up. Yeah? I see nobody bring it up. You know why it's so important? Anybody knows? Mm. You see what happens here. When you go this way, yeah, you compress the back. Now what happens when you bring the knee up? You decompress the back. I think he knows. Yes, because this only exercise would make him feel no pain when he had this accident or something. Yes? I think it was accident, I don't know, or, yeah, punch and puffer. I don't know in English, yes. But when you have this pain in the spine, the only way to decompress your spine is to bring the knee up to the chest. Then here, open the spine, open. Yeah, so I wanna see everybody when we do this crane. You raise the knee to the chest, yes. All right, you do it one more time, other side. Boy, so, breathe in. Breathe out, breathe in. Raise knee strong to chest, higher, higher. You can go higher, yes? Go straight, yes. Keep it, yes, decompress, yes, now compress. Now go up, yes, all right. And so, relax, knee high again, very high. You try to chest, yeah? Bring the knee to chest. So open and relax. Okay, relax, breathing. Try and relax face, no shocked face, okay. Happy emotion. Okay, relax. I think now we have three times each side, right? Yes, okay. Now, I want to uh, go a bit in depth in uh, some of these exercises because I, I saw something and maybe it's not sure or I want to explain a bit about it, okay? So first, uh, leopard position, what I saw, yes? Mm, I want to see it, uh, I want you to see it one time. Yeah? When we're starting here, yeah? you see? Turn hip, yeah? go here, hand under the ear and turn, yeah? turn body. Now, now you go straight. Yeah? You go straight. See, to this one. Understand? Most here I see doing like so, you see? Like turn only here, and then probably here, and go like this. Yeah, but there are two focus points in this exercise. When we start the combo, you try to turn much as possible, yeah? You're turning. 
you bring the hand under the ear. Yeah? And now you go straight this way. Yeah? You go straight way and keep the hand the same line. This way, now here, stretching together with the hand and the hip movement. You see here, now hand soft, whoops, yes, soft. And you go here, understand? I want you to try this. Yes, we try it. Let's, let's try it one time. The right hand is on top, and I want you to focus on this movement, yes? It originates from the hip. So you turn here, and you go straight. <laughs> go, yeah? Relax here, okay? We try. Bye. So. Yes, under ear, very good. Now turn, and you go hip. Okay, here, here, here. Yes, very good. Yes, now, now I felt open shoulder, yes. Very nice. Lower, mabu, mabu. See, hand still forward. Hand should be here. Mm. And now go low. Knee out, knee out. And step wider, step wider, yes. This, this no good. Careful. Yes, okay, relax. You know, fixing your position afterward is hard. You try to make it correct from the start. It's much easier. Yeah. Watch again other side, you see. Like, turn, yeah? turn body. Turn, go here, and go straight this way. Straight, okay? Straight, together with arm. Understand? Then you feel here, open. Yeah. We try it, other side, okay? I wanna see you, bye. So, breathe, go combo, turn, march. Under ear, yes, go. Marble, and go, straight. Very nice, very nice, yes. Very good. Mabu lower. So relax. Yes. You know, I, I want everybody to break this Wushin Qigong correctly. Yeah? If you do this correctly from the start, you have big improvement. Yeah? You have a lot of improvement. Okay, relax, breathe. This is first correction. Yes. I think everybody should take to heart, try and improve this position like this, yes? Okay? I like breathing. Okay, now we do snake movement. I want you to watch my snake movement one time, okay? When we come here, yeah? We come here, first here, this one already straight, you open, yeah? So knee and toe, same line, yes? Knee and toe. Now from combo, we go pubo. Understand? This is a d difference. Yeah, see? Knee and toe, one line. What happens? Body straight. Understand? This is not hard. You simply need to practice like this. You go crouching position, go outside. Yeah, easy. You make straight. You're good. It's okay. Yeah, you have achieved poo poo. Yeah, okay. So uh, let's try to practice the snake when you step straight every time in combo. So every time you go into combo position, yes, when you're here, the hip also aligned like here, 
and you go in. Now you're in snake position. Then you go pobo, go straight. Understand? Understand? We, we tried, okay? Goodbye. So, breathe in, go shivo. So, gombo. First, make sure the gombo position is correct, okay? Now, the arm reach far and we go pubo. See, see my hand. Yeah? Pubo and turn hand. Now, hip straight. Mm, now, keep going round shape, circle, see? Circle, combo. And make sure knee straight now with toes and hip, go here. Mm, okay. Keep holding. Very nice. And now, we stretch this lower hand. So, pubo, stretch this one to help you keep straight, yeah? This one, go up, relax, okay. And one more time, circular motion, combo, yes, turn, make it straight, yes. Very good. Keep holding, and again, one time, the lower hand, stretch forward, outward. It will make your movement more stable. So, stretch here, the shoulder stretch, yes, and you go. And so, come forward, very nice, yeah? So, the stretching between your hands will stabilize your snake posture, because you only go forward, then change direction, go forward again, okay. Soft, relax marble, change marble, and go up. Mm, okay. This is how you stabilize the snake, yeah? You go here, one, straight, yes? Go forward, straight, go up, yeah? push. The fingers lead direction, see? Fingers lead direction into your snake posture. You turn, and you push right hand, go. Hmm. Understand? So try use your fingers and arms to stabilize your position, okay? Now we know feeling of chi, we know feeling of circulation. With this, you should be able to do it. Just keep exercising, yes? And the third correction, I already said, the crane, yes? First one, compress lower back, and to decompress lower back. Everything depending on position of your knee. Because we have no time to exercise, we do it one time. One, one, left, right, okay? But I wanna see your knee up here. The knee go to the chest. Otherwise, the lower back can't relax. Hmm? We try it, okay? So. Yes. Bring the knee highest position Yes, highest position, and then make it straight. Yes, he already in crane stance. Very good. <laughs> Just making fun. Okay. <laughs> uh, relax, yes. Push knee up. And now, so, push up, strong. Yes, very good. This exercise will stimulate the heart organ, actually, yes. But for people who had this accident or are, are hurt, this will help a lot to ease your pain, yes? Uh, I don't know in English. Do, do you know in English? No. When they have spine, uh, spine compression too much, uh, it jump out. Understand this one? <laughs> okay, yes. I don't know in English, but yeah, if you if you really have the, the problem that the spine is like really painful, you know, you can't even be straight anymore, yeah, then you must decompress the, the, the spine. Mm -hmm. So this is how you work with the crane, yeah. 
All of these are really high effort exercises. If you know correctly, you know how to improve yourself. You know what change is, uh, is, is coming, you know, how to change. Yeah? This is very important in this Qigong practice. I think everybody understands now, at least, yes. You should always try to improve, and this part is called the self-cultivation, you know. I think in China, this is a very big topic, you know. Every Kung Fu movie talks about self-cultivation, yes. And what they're doing, they're fighting in the movie, yes. Well, for self-cultivation, of course, you become stronger. In Bhutan, one reason to do self-cultivation is to be able to defend yourself, have no problem, have this freedom of mind. Yes, you are free. You can do whatever you would like to do, yes? But uh, in, a, in, a, in a martial arts school, yeah, like in the Sanfong Pai, for us, it's very important to bring the chi sharp into one point. So it means we can use our power efficiently in private life. And also, of course, in combat application. Yeah. So don't forget that the Qigong, Tai Chi, and the Fa Li are all an integral part of your self-cultivation exercise. <laughs>